All right. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I hope that you can hear me well. I'm Frederick Rome. I'm sales manager at uh, AgroIntelli. And thank you all for joining in. Um, I'm going to do this demonstration on behalf of AgroIntelli. And also a big thanks to the uh, FIRA team for organizing this. Uh, the way that I'm going to do this presentation is that first I will share with you some basic information about um, AgroIntelli and Roboti, the robot we produce. And after this, I will put on the demonstration video. And finally, we should have 10, to, uh, 10 minutes or so uh, remaining for, for a Q&A session. So if you have any questions, please note them on the way and we will uh, take them to the um, to the Q&A session. So let me first share with you my screen. So we are Agrontelli and we automate farming, obviously with reference to our robot, Robati, which you see here in, in the background. We are located in, we were formally established in 2015 and Today, we are located in, in Aarhus, in Denmark, uh, where we are part of the Danish food tech cluster, AgriFood Park, um, which allows us to knowledge share and collaborate with many other um, uh, tech uh, companies. We have our production facilities on the western coast of Denmark, here in the city of, of Lim. Uh, today, we are around 30 employees and the company is partly owned by investors and the employees working um, in agro Tele on a daily basis. As mentioned, we are producing uh, Roboti, um, which I also have an illustration of here. Uh, what characterizes Roboti is that it's 100% autonomous. It's designed for precision farming and reducing the risk of soil compaction uh, due to its relatively low weight. It navigates uh, precise and accurate in the field with RTK uh, navigation. It has a standard diesel hydraulic uh, mechanical setup, um, which makes the robot very powerful, reliable, so it can work both night and day, and also super easy to service. It also has a standard three-point hitch here in the front of the robot so that the implement uh, is located in the sensor weight. And um, this setup also allows us to assist the farmer in the field throughout the season, uh, performing different tasks from seedbed cultivation to seeding, mechanical weeding, uh, or even spraying. Finally, uh, I would like to mention that the robot is both safe and legal to operate. Um, we have it CE marked and it complies to all the standards and requirements in the EU machine machinery directive. I hope this gave a, a somewhat good impression of Agrointeli as a company, but also uh, Roboti, uh, which we produce. So let me just put on the video for you. Bear with me one second. We from Akrantelli are proud to present to you Roboti. We are producing and supplying Roboti for farmers around Europe. We are based in Denmark and is based upon uh, multiple years of research and development in collaboration with a lot of research partners around Europe. Roboti is based on the idea that we believe technology can be used for precision farming and automation to help minimizing impact on soil, on environment and for the benefit of the farmer's economy.
My experience is that our customers values that Roboti in many ways are quite standard and similar to the tractor they already are very familiar with. Roboti is still a diesel hydraulic system, which is reliable, powerful and easy to service. Also, Roboti has a standard three-point hitch, which allows the farmer to mount different implements on the robot and have the robot assisting in the field throughout the season from seedbed cultivation, seeding and mechanical weeding. When adding a new field to the system, the plans needed for that field only has to be made once. After making a plan for a specific implement, it can be reused again and again on that field. This makes it possible to ready all the operations needed for a field in advance and have them available for driving at any time and at any number of times. So the first early versions of Roboti were sold in 2016 and since then much have happened. Uh, today we have sold and delivered around 15 robots of our latest version and we have another 25 in the order book which we are going to deliver uh, within the summer of 2021. We have different customers. On one hand we have research institutes and universities around Europe uh, which we have a close collaboration with. Um, on the other hand and maybe more essentially we have farmers, cereal growers, vegetable farmers and farmers who grow more wide space crops such as sugar beets, rapeseed, corn. Uh, we are collaborating with different partners across Europe. Uh, in Switzerland, we are collaborating with GVS Agra, leading farmers in Czech Republic and Abemek in, in the Netherlands. In Scandinavia, we are facilitating sales ourselves and we are about to find the first partners in Germany, United Kingdom, France, the Roboti has a number of different systems that allow it to avoid accidents. The GPS keeps it on track and inside the field. The laser scanner helps avoid collisions and the bumper stops the robot in case of a collision. Agrointelli are producing one of the world's most advanced agricultural robots. It is 100% autonomous. It is safe and legal to operate. It operates night and day, 24-7. Testing and documentation of Roboti has been an essential part of our development of Roboti to ensure that when Roboti is supplied to our customers, they get a reliable and robust product that can ensure them in an intense business uh, with variating climate conditions where they need to know that the equipment works when the weather's right. Changing climate conditions are requesting everybody in the business to come up with new solutions that can support a sustainable farming practice for the future.
right, that was the presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention was that if you had any questions, please, um, you can write them in this chat function um, and I'll just go through them uh, one by one. So the first question I received, uh, so here it is. Great job, what is your strength against future autonomous tractors that will launch John Deere or tractor or other tractor manufacturers? So uh, I think one of uh, the great strengths of, of the robotic concept here is, is actually safety um, because this design and setup of robotic allows us to have uh, all the danger uh, in the middle and we can have safety all around it in a tractor setup you will have um, you will have the pulling element, the tractor in front, and the implement behind, and that is quite difficult to manage from a safety point of view. If you have to comply to all the rules and um, rules and, and regulations on, on this, uh, so in in terms of tractor setup, I believe safety is an important factor here. I hope that answered your question. The another question is from Ben Scott Robinson, writing terrific example of pragmatic robotics. What draft force is robotic capable of? So it's um, as mentioned. It's a, if I understand this question correctly, it it, it goes to how much um, power it's producing. So it's a diesel hydraulic setup uh, in total producing 150 horsepower. Um, and as it is right now, yeah, we, we, uh, we run on, on diesel. So we have two engines, one engine producing 75 horsepower for propulsion and the second engine running the PTO and the external hydraulics. I hope that answered your question. Another question here is, is your navigation purely based on RTK? How's the robot managing situation on off GNSS outage? Uh, so first of all, yes, it's, um, it's for now based on RTK. Um, at some point, we, we are also looking into different alternatives, but um, I, I won't get too much into that uh, here. Um, it starts with the farmer making a plan on the computer. Once a plan is generated, um, a plan is um, for how the robot should act on the field, solve a different, uh, solve some sort of task in the field. So once that plan is generated um, and you take the robot to the field, it's also locked on the field. So if it loses connection to the, um, to the GPS, it stops. And a situation of operating outside um, the geofence around the field is, is not possible of, of that reason. Another question here is what is the operation width of the boom and what is the pace of the robot? So this can be customized towards uh, user needs. Um, so if we have a farmer saying that uh, he or she needs a robot that is this wide, um, we can produce it in, in that way. The pace of the robot in, is um, around five kilometers as it is right now uh, in, when it's operating autonomously for spring. Next year, we are going to do around eight kilometers per hour in, in, in auto mode. And another question here, very nice field ro uh, crop robot. What will be your big next development step? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, we are, of course, looking into to many uh, smaller upgrades on the robot, I think. Uh, something we are deep diving in right now is, is again to, to upgrade safety um, so we can allow a 100% um, remote supervision. Um, that's, that's something we are looking very much into. Uh, 
Another question here, since the tools are placed between the wheels, is there no concern that the wheel, that the wheel mark, which is never worked or treated? Also a very good question. Um, I think there are two scenarios here. So in one scenario with, um, with more cereal crops, um, yes, we have a minor disadvantage here. Um, if we are to cover the whole field, we will drive in what we have already been seeded, for example. Alternatively, in, in, in cereal crops, you will organize your field. So you farm cereal crops similar to you farm vegetables in a bed system. Um, for more white space crops, such as uh, sugar beets, maize or corn, um, or, or rapeseed, the row distance between the crops are wide enough for the robot to drive between the rows. So in, in, in those crops, uh, we don't have that problem. Hope that answered your question. And another uh, question here, what is the cost? So we see market prices for Roboti around uh, 140 to 180,000 euros. And the reason for the variation depends on what kind of features um, the user, the farmer wants to equip the robot with. So again, we can somewhat customize exactly to the farmer's needs. So if a farmer needs PTO and external hydraulics and such stuff, then we can install that. And of course that also is, is visible in, in the price. Are you able to leave the robot in the field without human control? Yes, um, our robot can work 100% autonomously to the, uh, according to a plan which the user carefully uh, designs for the robot on, on a specific field, solving a specific task. Uh, meanwhile, the human is, is free to do, or, or, the, or the robotic pilot is free to do other things. Um, as it is right now, it's a bit of a gray zone um, legislation-wise, whether or not you are allowed to, to leave the field or not. Um, if we take a look on, or let me put it in another way, we have to comply to the rules um, from the EU Machinery Directive from 2013. And a lot of things have happened since 2013. So what we experience is that the legislation is not totally up to date um, together with, with, with the technological development. Um, but we are designing the robot to allow for remote supervision so that the, that the farmer does not have to be present on the field. And therefore we also are prioritizing our safety setup on the robot. So we, from a manufacturer's point of view, can allow the farmer to, to do something else while the robot is operating in the field. What is the average farm size or type uh, do you think Roboti is best fitted for? Um, of course, um, I think from an economic perspective, it's always more interesting um, or you have the, the, um, the most productivity gains, the larger the, the, the field is, uh, the, the farm is. Um, and in terms of type, I see a great potential of, um, of organic farmers of different crops or vegetable farmers, which have a massive need for uh, for, for example, precision seeding, but uh, maybe more importantly, also um, mechanical weeding, uh, which is very um, uh, labor demanding. Uh, so those segments, I believe, is, is uh, really interesting from a robotic perspective. Sorry to interrupt. The presentation is finished. If you have any other question, just go on AgroIntelli booth. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thanks a, a lot day. for joining in and thanks for all the great questions.